Meghan gets the Queen's special advisor, Duchess of Sussex will spend six months listening to Feisty Palace a dubbed Samantha the Panther to learn how to be an effective royal. The Queen has lent Meghan Markle her most senior aides, a feisty Australian nicknamed Samantha the Panther, to prepare the former actress for her new royal life. Samantha Cohen, 49, the Queen's assistant private secretary, will make the move from Buckingham Palace to Kensington Palace, it was revealed today. M's Cohen's secondment is part of Meghan's plans to become an effective royal and herself she has spent 17 years as part of the Queen's top team advising her on a daily basis. Her Majesty is said to believe she is just the woman to guide Harry and Meghan through their first year of marriage and the ex-actress, who had a grueling schedule filming suits, wants to stay busy in her new extraordinary life with Harry. The new Duchess of Sussex plans to spend the rest of the year touring the country meeting charities and other good causes only punctuated by her honeymoon. A source told The Times, it will be six months of listening. She is seeking out advice from a range of people. She is going to proceed with humility. It is not going to be quiet, though. It is going to be a very busy office. She has worked every day of her life. She is used to a demanding schedule. M's Cohen had appeared to be on the way out of the royal household after an extraordinary row between her boss, Prince Charles and Prince Andrew. She resigned in solidarity with Sir Christopher Gt, the Queen's private secretary, who suddenly announced last July he was suddenly leaving after 15 years of royal service. Sources said he was forced out because he fell out with Charles' most senior aides and Prince Andrew allegedly deeply dislikes him and resented the control he had over his expenses. Samantha also resigned but she was obviously persuaded to stay and was seen at the royal wedding on Saturday. She is also said to have played a key role in preparing Meghan for Tuesday's Buckingham Palace garden party, her first appearance as Her Royal Highness. M's Cohen, who was a student in Brisbane before moving to Britain is expected to be a temporary replacement for Edward Lane Fox, Prince Harry's departing private secretary, until next spring. Married to a dentist and believed to be the mother of two children, she worked in the civil service and public relations before joining Buckingham Palace in 2001. Described as deeply committed to serving the monarchy, she was in the first wave of women to take control of palace media office once dominated by men during in naughties. Initially working in PR she became deputy press secretary from 2003 before getting the top job in 2007. She was promoted to the private office in 2010 and became Sir Christopher Gt's assistant. Supported by Ims Cohen, Meghan made her first outing as the Duchess of Sussex this week as she and Prince Harry arrived at Prince Charles's 70th birthday party at Buckingham Palace, where she was given a warm welcome. The garden party saw more than 6,000 people all from the charities and military associations most closely linked with the prince, descend on the grounds of Buckingham Palace for music, speeches, and, of course, a customary cup of tea and cucumber sandwich. Samantha Cohen also found herself at the center of an incredible power struggle between Buckingham Palace and the Prince of Wales's Clarence House team. The Queen's most senior courtier Sir Christopher Gt suddenly announced in July that he was leaving after 15 years of royal service. Sir Christopher is thought to have fallen out of royal favour amid chaotic power struggles as Prince Charles and the younger royals take on more of the Queen's duties under Operation Handover. To heal the rift, the Queen has given her most trusted courtier a fitting send-off. When Sir Christopher, 56, stepped down as her private secretary on Thursday, bestowed yet another knighted on him, his third in six years, during a private audience at Balmoral. In addition to his Knight Commander of the Royal Victorian Order, KCVO, and Knight Commander of the Order of the Bath KCB, Sir Christopher now bears the highest insignia in the Royal Victorian Order, the Knight Grand Cross, GCVO, given to those who have served the monarch in a personal way.